Speaking of YouTube money, uh, Aunt Glizzy, uh, DC comedian, he just purchased some, uh, he just cashed out and got him a Jeep. Yeah, I seen it. What's that, like an 08? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I mean, I seen it. I mean, look, I ain't, this is my thing about Aunt Glizzy, right? I, Shout out to Aunt Glizzy, nah, man. Nah, nah, Shout I, out to Aunt Glizzy. This is my thing. This is my thing. I get, I get it, Sean, like. But with what you got going on, I don't see the success in Aunt Glizzy like that. Now, as far as like with Aunt Glizzy, right, I'm going to call him Anthony. With Anthony, I don't really see too much of him getting to the next level because like we, like we talked all on live, right? Nigga, you can't, your weird ass can't even really get on a podcast because you claim you're a comedian. But you, but you also want to be this gangster person. You're never going to make it like that. You're never going to make it like that. Because guess what? If you can't control your stupid ass temper, niggas, gonna, you're not that tough. If you was that tough, you would not be out right now. Your stupid ass would be, if them folks came to your house, like you be telling this story. Yeah, when they came and I talked to them and he, yeah, bro, your ass is not really like that keep being the internet, arguing niggas, but all that that you're doing ain't going to do nothing but end up, like we just was talking about, when a nigga get knocked out, I feel like after he got set up like that, his career kind of over with. It's too early in the game. Once you start your career and you get knocked out, and this ain't even just being funny though, but it's too early to get knocked out when you trying to grow. Get knocked out when you falling off. But if you're trying to build up and you got knocked out and your booty cheeks in the air and all that shit, it's over with. I don't care what Sean try to do to help you, it's over with. If you get on this platform, that platform, that platform, you're not that funny. It's like you'll get on there, you'll say a few little jokes and shit. Niggas know you lying. You're gonna get on here with these most nights. And it's kind of, it's just, it just blows me seeing the nigga. And then it's kind of like to the point where I'm like, bro, congratulations on your Jeep. You know what I mean? Get to the next level, but be smart enough to know how to network. Because clearly yeah, you can't I, control what you got going on. Sean Cotton want to do a podcast. Your goofy ass can't even come because you're going to tweet. And you're going to die if you come playing. You get what I'm saying? Because every person around a nigga has carry to conceal with insurance to kill. So... What did you about, what you going to bring? Like, come on, bro. You tricking your own self plan. Yeah, I, I mean, I salute him uh, because I the year, like, 2022 Aunt Glizzy versus 2023 Aunt Glizzy, he's leveled up. Um, now, you say that he's a comedian still trying to be hood. That's going to hurt him. I mean, you, you a smart you man. Think? You a businessman. What yeah. do you think? I mean, you smart as hell. Yes, the jokes and stuff is funny, but how far are you going to get with the jokes and how many places are you going to really be able to really go? Because my thing is, though, just like you doing research and Glizzy, it's a lot of money. So the stuff that you think you have on somebody, don't you think we have the same thing? Don't you think we know everything about Aunt Glizzy and everywhere he stay and everywhere he be and all? It's the same exact thing. Nobody knows. No, he, the same thing he did. We insides too now. The best. He better check the background, bro. You get what I'm saying? So I look at it like almost to the point where like, just be smart with it. If you're gonna be a comedian, you still still like we, me and big folks. We say we we willing to meet Charleston White and Dewberry. You feel me? But you see how our beefs wasn't su super serious. Don't get to a point where your stupid ass can't really come around. You know what I mean? When a, when a nigga trying to help you grow, dummy. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, it's a bigger picture later. Get great. Yeah, tell your jokes and shit. But be able to take jokes when you tell your lies. Because we can lie, too. And it can get real funny and weird, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I can get real disrespectful. You feel me? We all can. So at the end of the day, it's just like, bro, if you're trying to grow it, bro, man, just be smart. Because bro might get a podcast and want your stupid ass there. And you probably can't come.
because you too mad about some shit, you know? You mad, you, you only gonna slow your shit down. We rich, we don't care. 